How's it going guys? Today is May 18th. Now, this, as you guys can see, USD CAD was one of the pairs that I had analyzed for last week and it played out very, very nicely. This was a 22 to one risk reward and finally hit final take profit all the way down over here to 32 to one risk reward. So it was great. We talked about this on my previous session of USD CAD. Now, also, we talked about NZD USD, but before we go into NZD USD, I want to talk about the next potential move on USD CAD. Now, this is the thing that I'm going to be looking for USD CAD. Now, you guys can see where it came out to. It came out to my point of interest on the four hour time frame. So, we go to the four hour time frame, you may see this was my point of interest, which as it was about at 1.38892. So, I'm going to go ahead and go over here and do it from a, a, um, a chart that's clean so that way we can go ahead and do our little drawings on here and kind of start anal analyzing from top to bottom but i'm gonna base myself off of the four hour time frame so one thing i do always see when it comes to this this is a push momentum right so once you push momentum i tend to look for a golden pocket ratio retracement so i'm gonna go over to the four hour time frame real quick and on this area we can see that it came to a point of interest which was right here, the area that we had talked about last time. Now all those trades we were able to take on steady, so hope you guys are part of that. If you're not, you're missing out. Let's go ahead and go right here to the coordinate section, 1.39300. That's the area where I could potentially look for a potential setup to then buy into, right? So the next scenario, I wanna go ahead and look into my golden pocket ratios. So golden pocket ratio is gonna go ahead and take us up to these levels right here, as we can see. So I'm gonna go over to my golden pocket ratio pocket, um, Fibonacci, and this golden pocket ratio takes me to 61.8 and 71% Fibonacci tracement. In this area, as you can see, I can identify there is imbalance right here. And that imbalance zone, which is a false algorithm, I'm gonna go ahead and look for my 50% Fibonacci tracement within there. So I'm gonna change my Fibonacci, go over to my um, discounted levels one, I can either go to discount level one or my optimal entry one. I'm going to go ahead and just put the optimal entry for now. 50%, right? So 50%. Let's go ahead and put this right here. Uh, right there. There we go. That is 50%. And I'm going to round this up to nearest hundredth or nearest quarter theory. In this case, it would be 1.40450. That would be about that area. So I'm looking for the market to potentially retrace back into the zone for me to look for potentially new selling opportunities. Okay, so right now I'm gonna look for the market to come to the zone. I'm not gonna trade at all unless the market comes to the zone and creates me a distribution schematic on lower time frames. If I go on the one hour time frame, let's go ahead and see if we can identify anything. One hour time frame, well this lines up to a point of interest from the past. Um, the, a imbalance zone, which is right here. So we can go ahead and put a potential another alert, right? I mean, so another potential entry, which is 50% of that level. And that'd be coming around this area, right? About here, round up to nearest quarter theory, 1.40.115 quarter theory level. There we go. So what I just went ahead and did right now, I just went ahead and created a potential entry zone. I just created a potential entry zone. Now, this does not mean I'm going to enter off of that. That's a potential entry zone. That's an area where I would like to see a distribution schematic to play off and for me to enter off of that. What that does mean, it means that I need to go ahead and put a um, alert right over here. Now, what's an alert? An alert is a area where you'll be notified that market has reached a certain point in the in um, price. Therefore, it's telling you to go ahead and look at your charts, see if there's anything happening that you may want to see and potentially sell into. So I'm looking into this trade right now. I'd like for it to come into my um, my trading zone. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put, input this right here. Doesn't mean this is my trade, but it is does mean that I can potentially be looking for this trade setup. Um, honestly, 20 pip stop loss is a lot for me. I'd rather go ahead and stick to my eight to 12 pip stop loss but for not right now, as I cannot improve it because it's just based on the four hour and one hour time frame, I need to see price action come a little bit nearer for me to identify a better stop loss. But for now, I'll leave it as 20. And then, you know, our take profit would come back down over here into a potential five to one risk reward, right? That's USD CAD 
that's something that I can see pay off. And that's something I'm going to pay attention to. But I have to wait for Mark to come over here for me to potentially take that trading opportunity. Now let's go to NTD USD. NTD USD, we talked about this trade last week. And you know, we, we came into the area that we wanted to sell into, right? Sorry, we wanted to buy into. What's that area was right here, our point of interest. We looked for schematics and then we were able to buy into this area all the way to the top. As you can see, I already have everything broken down, right? You can see that market already came to the 0.60550, which was a potential limit order that we we're looking for last week. It's 50% of that imbalance zone from the past, tested, and is looking to come down. But let's go break this down, NZD, USD, and base ourselves off of what's going on right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete all this. You can see the limit that was placed right here for me to, sorry, the alert for me to pay attention into it. And let's break this down. So the one hour time frame. wait, let's go right here real quick. We saw that our other limit trading position was around this area, 660, there we go. So now what I wanna see, this is a much closer potential trade that can happen, right? I want to go ahead and sell this, but I cannot sell until I see a schematic, right? There's going to be two scenarios. Scenario one is going to happen right there where we are. Scenario two is going to happen over here at this accumulation of price, right? So I have zones I'm looking into. Scenario one, what do I want to see? I want to see a distribution schematic happen right here on the 15 minute time frame or the five minute time frame. So far, I can identify market creating liquidity has not broken liquidity, so it hasn't shown me any show of weakness. I need to see market come down, create that show of weakness. Once market comes down, creates that show of weakness, come back, test into our points of interest or last points um, of supply to sell into. That'd be scenario one. If market does not do this, I'm not looking to, to enter, but if it does, we can look to enter somewhere around this area right here. Um, stop loss would be right above over here. To lead is at about 12.5 hit stop loss. Um, let's run these things up to our entry level so this 75 and then stop loss could be at uh, let's say let's say 600 on this one real quick there you go 12.5 and always when you're a three to one risk reward always at break even but this one when it does play off we can play off for major profits you know sign to one risk reward that is so far off of, off of the 15 minute time frame without really looking to um bettering your stop loss second scenario like i mentioned there's two scenarios second scenario i'd have to see the market come up, you know, let's say it doesn't do the distribution right there, it's gonna to have to come up over here, and we're gonna to have to look for some distribution phase, same thing I'd look for down over here, the same exact thing I would look for down over here, I'm gonna look for up over here, if that first scenario doesn't happen. I'm gonna go ahead and do my little box, and I'm gonna wait for that distribution phase to go ahead and happen in that area, and once it happens, I'll look for potential sign opportunities, and more and more, um, this is gonna be a better um, risk reward meaning that you're going to be able to risk less or risk the same amount but gain much more because it's going to be a bigger drop from the higher um, standpoint so with that said usd cad looking for me to sell into i have to see those schematics more than likely i will see a potential play out right here and then go back up so there is a buying opportunity to be placed which i'll take down consideration what you can take in consideration for this buying opportunity can be look at the five minute time frame wait for market to come down over here to this zone you can wait it to come to this imbalance zone or wait to come to this last area right around over here right so any of those zones wait for it to come into this area right here or over here and then bounce back up and for the selling position as mentioned previously waiting for mark to come over here hit my alert to notify me that's close to my potential entry zone and then potentially sell into so with that said that is my Outlook for the week on USD CAD and NCD USD. Those are the only pairs I'm looking at right now, but I will look into some more um, in the near future. But with that said, I will go ahead and recap these at the end of the week. See you guys on the next session and hope to see some of your guys' videos as well.